Hi there, in this training we're going to cover how to set up a Twitter account from scratch. If you've opened up a Facebook account, you'll be very familiar with this process. It's, it's essentially exactly the same. So what I want you to do is go to twitter.com forward slash sign up and you'll come to a page that looks like this. I want you to put your name in there, uh, your email address, give yourself a password and then click on sign up. And then once you've done that, you'll be taken through to a page that looks like this. And as you can see, it's totally blank. Now we want to give ourselves a decent username and we want to put in some nice pictures and some backdrops here, give ourselves a nice business presence. So the first thing we do is we go up here with this red egg as we click on that and we go to settings. And we're going to go to email because we don't want a bunch of be bombarded with email. So we'll turn that off. And then we'll go down to design here. And we'll just choose one of these designs just so I like this one. So let's click on that and then we click on save. Okay. And then what we do is we go back up to account and this is where we decide what, uh, what username we want. So I'm going to, for this illustration, I'm going to call this one, uh, CSC Hayden. And that one's available. So I'm going to grab that one there. Um, if it's not available, they'll tell you and they'll give you some suggestions, but uh, you should be able to, you know, a bit of playing around, you should be able to get a good username for yourself. And then what you do is once you've, once you're happy, you settled on that username, click save down the bottom, and then you'll be asked to put in your password. So put that in there, click save, and then it tells you you're done. Next step, we want to put some content in here. So what we do is we click on here again, and then we click on view profile. And this will be the page that people see when they first come to you. So as it is now, we've got nothing. So what we want to do is we want uh, a picture here of you or of something there. And we want to put a nice cover image in here. And now uh, we've got some cover images for you in the training. So please select one of those. I'm going to do that now. So click on there, add image photo. So I'm going to go up to, where did I keep those? Twitter headers and I'm going to choose this one here. That's nice and pretty. So you can move this, you can adjust a little bit if you if you want to. So that looks good. I'm going to apply that and click save. Now I click edit profile again. I want to put a picture in here. So let's just add a picture. You can add one of your own or you can add just uh, something that you've got on your computer if you want just for now. And I'll only use this guy, apply. Put my name in there. I call myself uh, Hayden. Or you know what, you can actually uh, use this to for marketing purposes as well. You could say something like this, uh, save kids. For example, in the bio, I've got, we've got some bio descriptions that we've got in the training for you. So I'm just gonna copy one of those for now. So be part of a greater cause, help protect the world from waterborne diseases. Join us with my referral link. So I'm going to grab that, copy, right click, copy, go back in here and paste it in there. Okay. And I'm going to put the same link, my same referral link. I'm going to copy it again and I'm going to paste it in the website space. Now you want to make sure that you've got the link definitely in this area here, because this is the one that, uh, this is the one that people are going to see. So we want to have it in there. And then uh, I like to I like to make this go red. It just stands out more. So I click there, make that go red. And then we click save. And there we have it. We've got a nice cover image. We've got a picture in there. We've got, uh, this is the most important part is the bio description. People see that and they want to know more about it. And they click on your link and go through to your site. This here is absolute key. Now I'm going to teach you something that's really, that not many people know will use. But it's called pinned tweets, and it's it's very very powerful. It doubles your exposure actually. So, what I want you to do is click on edit profile again, and I want you to grab everything in there, again. So we'll make all that go blue. Right click, copy, and then we'll click save again. And then what we'll do is we're going to tweet that. So we'll go up here to the tweet box. We will go tweet, and then we'll go we'll tweet that. And then we want to pin it so it's locked in this position at all times. So when a person comes to your Twitter page, they're always going to see either that or that or a combination of both. So what you do is see on the three dots here, more, 
hover over that, click on there and click pin profile and click pin. And you're done. And there, there you are. There's a Twitter account set up for you. It took us roughly about five minutes or less. And that's the process. So if you have any questions once more, please reach out. Thanks.